This problem is basically asking us to do the same exact thing as we were asked to do in the last video, in that in the last video we were completing ordered pairs so that the ordered pairs would be solutions to the equation they gave us. So here we're going to complete a table so that each row in the table would represent an ordered pair that's a solution to that equation. So. Uh, what we'll do here is first of all start with knowing x equals 0 and trying to figure out what y should be to make it a solution. So let me just label it as x equals 0 here. So in that case we just take our equation, plug 0 in for x, and solve for y. Of course 2 times 0 is 0 so we have negative y equals negative 5. And remember that negative y is just the same as negative 1 times y. And we can easily solve for y by dividing by negative 1. And you could have also multiplied by negative 1 because negative 1 times itself is also a positive 1. But at any rate, we get y equals 5. So I know I can fill in y equals 5 into this table. All right, we can do the same thing with x equals 3. Alright, so for x equals 3, we have 2 times 3 minus y equals negative 5. So we have 6 minus y equals negative 5. We get rid of the 6 by subtracting it from both sides. And then uh, last time we divided by negative 1 to get rid of it. And this time let's just multiply by negative 1. So y equals 11. So we plug 11 in right there. And now, the, for the last two, the known is the y value and the unknown is the x. So we have y equals 7. So 2x minus 7 equals negative 5. We add 7 to both sides. 2x equals 2. And then, of course, dividing by... 2 on both sides gives us x equals 1. So x equals 1 gets paired with y equals 7 to create a solution. And then finally, y equals negative 5. So 2x minus, and careful here, this minus came from the equation itself, and then when I'm plugging negative 5 in for y, I better put parentheses around that negative 5. And so, of course, minus negative 5 becomes plus 5. So we can subtract 5 from both sides. 2x equals negative 10. Divide by 2 on both sides. So x equals negative 5. So negative 5 for x goes with negative 5 for y. And please understand these are all ordered pairs, right? So we know that 0, 5, 3, 11, 1, 7, and negative 5, comma, negative 5, all of these are solutions to 2x minus y equals negative 5.